Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Super Metroid Any% Percent Turner, uh, Tournament Losers Round 1 we have here tonight. And we have a real cutie versus Freya Spirit. And, uh, you know, shout out to the sponsor, Vi.gg, bringing some uh, esports kind of action uh, sponsorship to us, you know, helping provide those prize pools for the runners. Pretty dope. So check them out in the bio and also exclamation button chat. And I'm joined again on commentary by Cheese. Uh, we're just going to, you know, provide all of our extensive knowledge of Super Metroid. I mean, honestly, uh, <laughs> we, we're very we're very educated in the matter and uh, very willing to, uh, you know, help help teach you guys, you know, what's going on. Hello, everybody. I'm here with Pitt. We're going to try again to <laughs> somehow have a good commentary, you know, because we know everything about this game, so. But, um... Yep, absolutely everything you could ever know. Gonna go ahead and count them down. Yeah, go for it. All right, the countdown is going down. It's ticking down. It is on go now. So, uh, you know, once we have that stream delay situation figured out, we will be going any second now. It's party time. Yeah, it is party time. If you like parties and you like time, then stay tuned because it is, in fact, party time. We have a... Interesting uh, difference here in the capture, uh, you know, Freya's game a lot darker. Also, you know, she's uh, behind the booth right now with the restream. Left video, definitely not even to the right video. SMH, man. Get it figured out. She's uh, <laughs> dude, on his this, last dude, morning already. The Super Metroid is so hard to see on top. You can never tell where it ends. The chat doesn't need your excuses, man. Well, there's there are my excuses. You better accept it. Okay. I accept it. Hopefully the chat does too. Uh, give me a quick uh, speedrun wave if you accept it. This isn't Mario. Uh, yeah, but you can abbreviate this game SM. So all we're missing is, you know, a 64. And I think that the chat can cover that. Okay. Everything is settled. That's that's about that's about right. Um, you know, Cocom trying to nitpick the uh, other commentator and restreamers' work here. Chat, chat. Let me know. Let me know. Nitpick him. Fifty-six, fifty-two versus forty-four, eighty-two. Or was it forty? No, it's 4652. I think I said 56 on accident. But yeah, faster escape though by a real cutie. Oh, I'd, like if, if the games don't look like they're cropped properly, let me know. Uh, because then, you know, I can make fun of cheese some more. But in case, you know, the folks back home were wondering, Freya Spirit on uh, the left side, their PB is 4932. Uh, and Ark, a real cutie on the right side, TV 4418. So, uh, you know, a real cutie, perhaps a, a little bit faster. Real cutie um, with a 44, you said? Frey has 4932. Okay. Ark has 4418. All right. So, um, you know, a real cutie, perhaps, you know, an advantage in speed. But the faster you go, uh, the harder the game gets. And depths, not uncommon for everyone. I've seen I've seen the highest level of play, like all those people. I, in fact, they probably die more. Yeah. Yeah, this game is scary like that too, you know. Mario 64 and, and uh, actually Odyssey as well. Most games you you die, it's like, alright, you know, you lose some time, you spawn again. This game, you die, it's over. The game is done. But you have the option to save. So we'll probably see a few saves here from these, from these guys. And, um, I, I hope so. Yeah. So yeah, uh, Freya has their yeah game is really dark for an already dark game, making it tough for the commentator to see anything. Thank you very much, Freya. Appreciate that. Yeah, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. All right. Can't see the action. 
Uh, I think actually you could probably go into like filters and then color correction and then just bump up the brightness a little bit. Probably. But that's too much work for Cheese. You know, he has to provide the stellar commentary. He's on the spot right now. Has to, uh, you know, keep everyone very entertained. And it's hard to balance those two acts together. Or three. Both, both in their own right, you know, their own jobs here. Riveting elevator. Um, you know, it's it's super exciting elevators. That they're really good. Elevators seem like a big thing in Metroid games. You know, you see it in Super Metroid. Uh, you see it in like Prime games, and they always take forever. Oh wow! Did Freya actually go uh, from Zosi to Ark? That really is a tough matchup. But maybe they can, you know. Pull out some sauce. I'd love to see, uh, you know, something something hot dropped on stream. Or maybe, uh, maybe a real cutie dies. All right, well, I tried to put on the bright the brightness all the way, and nothing changed. So, yep, good program. Did you did you hit the save button? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Like after after you did that, you're in studio mode. Did you hit the transition button after? No, I, I like the stream itself didn't change color even though I put up the brightness. Oh wait. You made you made a real cuties game brighter. What are you doing? No, I didn't. That's the wrong one. No, I swear you did. I swear, I swear you did. Okay, Cheese I did. oh I did. five dropping the ball right now on restreaming. This is really funny. Now they're even more polarized. Wait, no, I didn't. No, I swear, I swear, I swear, real cuties is brighter now. I, I promise. Okay, yeah. No, no, it's not. It's not. Are you sure? I'm probably a thousand percent sure. Probably? probably. How can you be pro probably completely certain? Give me un segundo, man. You know, picking, Nick pick, uh, nitpicking the COCOM on his restreaming skills. Meanwhile, there's this uh, awesome Super Metroid race going on. They're not changing the topic often because they don't know anything about the game. They're definitely, you know, very knowledgeable on the on the subject. Uh, the subject matter, yeah. Yeah, we we know a lot. Look, look, Frey again, that energy tank gonna be increasing maximum health uh, again by another 99. All right, all right. So brightness has changed, but nothing changed. It's okay, we could see the game. Uh, it's fine. Kinda. If you squint really hard, you might see Samus and a real cutie struggling to get on the elevator. Uh, tried to go down while on solid land. I don't think that's gonna work. Definitely. Freya, a much better elevator. Uh, insane, pure ecstasy. Pretty close right now. Not too far, I believe. Nope, not too much. Pretty. Let's learn this and now we'll see we a super missile from a real cutie here. You know, you want those supers. The only notice? reason why I know the super, <laughs> because I remember it from commentating earlier. I was about to say that. <laughs> All right, I have, a well, decent, I have a decent memory. Pit, obviously the real commentator here. I'm just a fraud. Um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> super missile. I'm guessing that is going to be very useful for, you know, the bosses. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and you need them for like the green doors too. Right, so. for sure. The cool thing is, uh, these, like, missile doors, like, the red ones, I'm pretty sure they take, like, five missiles, but, uh, the red ones, they just get wrecked by one super. There's a, a missile, uh, capacity upgrade there, I believe. And five in the bank for a real cutie. I think, I think that's a, that's a capacity increase, right? It'd be really weird if you'd have that cutscene just for, like, five missiles. That'd be, like, Skyward Sword tier. Chat saying that hair and an echo on my part. Wonder how that's possible? I'm using headphones. There's no way it could be an, uh, an echo. Is there still an echo, chat? Help me out here. Yeah, chat, give us, give us the knowledge. 
a real cutie, you know, pumping pumping those arms, pumping the shoulders. It's like a it's like a little speed boost. Uh, you know, it's like a, a little bit of nitro, a little bit of nos, but uh, not not a whole lot, but very often. Okay, so chat saying that there's Ooh, an echo. Nice damage boost. That means the voice is coming through my headset. No, Should no, be no. better. Yeah, there's no echo. We're good. Freya, no, no damage boost there, but uh, you know, nabbing another missile though, that's good. Na missiles are good. Missiles Ooh, are good super for, on the ground. They're very necessary for killing, you know, Ridley and the frog guy. Okay, so we see uh, Kraid coming out first here. The only reason why I know that is <coughs> I looked up the boss names. <laughs> and I remember which openings go to which boss. It's from last race. But, you know, I I'm trying my best. Kraid coming up. That guy just dies in like five hits. He's seriously such a joke. Nice damage boost from uh, Real Cutie on the spikes there. Very nice. I think I heard it's like 11 frames on a spike. Which would be like about a sixth of a second, considering that it's like a 60 FPS game. Alright, now we have Freya doing Kraid right after Real Cutie. Real Cutie getting the, the Barrio suit first. Wait, is a Real Cutie uh, QWERTY? Can I, can I get that confirmed from chat? Because if uh, a real cutie, okay, a real a real cutie is QWERTY. That's pretty cool. Uh, QWERTY, uh, old school Ocarina of Time bingo player. So I don't know for anyone who likes that. There's there's some knowledge bombs there. Pity's age showing in the speedrunning community. She's still MIA. Uh, you know, Pit trying to carry by himself, but at this point, he's no one to bounce off of. Getting messages from Adam Ferrari, a real commentator, um, oh. to see if he wants to jump in here. But Freya trying to dodge the French fries. Yeah, uh, Freya's looking a little low on uh, ammunition. Thor, you got me on your side, honey. I'm with you. I think we're we're in it to win it, cheese. We're we're the realest commentaries on the block. I mean, yes, clearly we know everything. Yeah, we don't. We don't need. We don't need Adam. We got it. And an energy tank get for a real cutie wants that extra health. You know, we'll make Ridley a lot easier. I think Ridley's probably like one of the main reasons why people get all the extra health. I know you need a certain capacity for Mother Brain though. Oh, Frey's skipping the health. What? Look at that. That is that is some hot fire. It was right there. Not gonna need it. Freya flexing on stream. I won't get hit. Oh, wait, no. Okay, Fred just got on the way back. That's cool, though. I'm pretty sure the reason they get the health is for the little brain. Because they have to yeah. take health. Yeah, they have to take damage on purpose. I'm still trying to figure out why they take all that damage at the end from the rainbow. Uh, the it's elf. scripted. It's scripted. Like, once you hit Mother Brain a certain amount of times, that move will just. Mm, but uh, what I mean, like, do you have to uh, get hit on it? Get hit by it on purpose? 
Yeah, you can't like dodge it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, okay. You like have to do it to beat boss. Mother Brain and Cry yeah, makes sense. Freya trying to jump on the edge here. It's pretty tough. Real kitty on fire pace right now. Literally. Fire underneath Ac him. That's acid, I think, apparently. Lava, acid, lava. Yeah, I mean... I, I think it's like the same thing, but apparently it's not. It's all about, you know, that, that Metroid lore. Okay, that's lava. Okay. See, yep. I'm confused now. I'm confused now. Like, again how do I? How do I know? <laughs> how do I know? It says, Acid is a clear orange. I'm. I'm so lost. It's an NES, SNES game, man. I mean, it's, it's not that detailed per se. Hard to tell. That being said, though, the texture work in this game is actually pretty great. Real cutie grabbing the wave beam. Our favorite move. Acid looks carbonated. Okay, that's how I remember. So one looks like orange juice and one looks like orange soda. Thank right. You. Exactly. <laughs> Those are the yeah. words. Uh, what's the uh, lava? Maybe maybe a little pulpier too. It's my my. What is my favorite one at the end? The LGBTQ beam. <laughs> the LGBTQ beam. The Kappa Pride laser. The Kappa Pride whatever. laser. Yeah. The Kappa Pride beam. Yeah. That's the best one. Alright, Freya. Grabbing the wave beam, beam as well. Probably around less than a minute behind. Not bad so yeah, far. It's... Pretty close. Yeah, it's not that bad. I definitely can uh, catch up for sure. A real cutie. Uh, being a real cutie and skipping that save there. Could have saved in that little tube. Another elevator, very riveting. And Freya, falling down, but intentionally, I think. Yes, that was intentional. Okay, commentator, you know, definitely knows what's going on. I mean, learning, so now you know next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, we should have just put ourselves on all the commentary, because by the end of the tournament, we would have done some fire. Exactly, we would know the game by heart. Think about how much better our commentary is this time than it was last race. Exactly. Well, I... Is it? <laughs> I don't know. Chat, uh, chat votes. Uh, give me a one if it's better. Give me a F or four, four, four. Yeah, give me an F for four. <laughs> okay, uh, real cutie falling down quite a ways here. Gonna have to track all the way back up. That's a pretty good time loss that Freya can capitalize on, actually. Mm -hmm. That must have been like 10 seconds at least. Nice damage boosts from a real cutie there. On the spikes. Fairly certain those give the most generous frame window. Ooh, another cheeky damage boost as well. Dang, a real cutie is out here, and Freya falling down. Alright, we have yet another elevator, because, you know, uh, elevators are pretty great. I think they missed an opportunity to play, like, an elevator variant of the music here in Super Metroid when you're on the elevator. Real Cutie and Freya both dropping power bombs. They're like your own like little, I don't know, nuke, I guess. Very small scale. Just obliterates anything in its path. Oh yeah. Okay, so you can do this. Uh, you can do this like spark thing or whatever. Uh, yeah. We saw the the best route last race, uh, where you had to after. Uh, there was like, there's other like this precise jump you can do there, or like this like bomb jump thing you can do across like that missile area. 
but in this route you get to just like boost across. Well, Pity, I am so sorry, but I'm gonna have to leave you. We have the mighty Adam in the call to join you in the commentary. Surprise, surprise! Welcome, Adam. Hello. How's it going, babe? So, three man commentary? <laughs> I'm gonna leave you guys too. Three. Good luck. Good luck on the comms. Thank you. Right, peace out. Thank you. Thanks for covering. All right, so. Fantoon. Fantoon. Both runners doing a, a classic route, it looks like. Yep, Fast looks like it. A little easier. Fantoon, kind of a goon. Yeah, especially a new route when you only have one E tank. So, I guess this fight is uh, considerably easier further in because you don't have to worry about health, and maybe you have more resources at your disposal. Absolutely. Uh, not only that, but you also have more energy. You have the, the various suit, which, which uh, have, it, it does a half damage type thing. Oh, on everything. I believe so. It's kind of like, because you're supposed to get Varia first, and then, and then you get gravity after. So it's like, I think, it, I think it's half and quarter, if I'm not mistaken. That's pretty cool. But once you get gravity, the only reason you would need Varia, like if you get gravity first, is because of... It's because of the, uh, the mother brain. Okay. Yeah, that, you know that, like that, that beam she shoots out? Yeah, the, that you the can't cat dodge? pride beam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly... Like you need to take a bunch of damage, and like basically, like the suits lower it down to 300 instead of like 600 or whatever. Exactly. It's you'll, it'll it'll do way more. It'll do twice as much. It actually the, the game checks to see if you have various suit. Okay. That's the only way you can get um, the damage uh, reduction is various suit because the game for some reason like that's like one of the only things that checks for various suit. I think the baby Metroid does as well. That's kind of funny. Well, uh, technically, I think that that would uh, save. Uh, coding, uh, you know, time. I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't. Well, it doesn't save time for the speedrunners because that's basically the only reason they need various suit and new route, um, or at all. Um, uh, I was just thinking, as as the, you know, they would just assume that if you're there, you'd have it. It's true. Yeah. Nice, ooh, a nice little spark there from, from cutie. So talk to me, talk to me about these uh, bird-looking statues. What's the lore? Okay, so this is uh, called the bowling statue. Is um, the Chozo statues usually give you items, but this one's this one, you give yourself to it, and it shows you the way. It takes you through the floor, and takes you right to the gravity suit, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, it's unfortunately. It's. I don't think you can skip it in this category. I think there's a way to skip it, but it's like one. Of, it's a major glitch, and this is technically any percent no no major glitches. Right. Like you can you can do some like crazy clips in any percent and be done really fast. Yeah. It's just. It's honestly this category is almost identical to this game to what 70 star is for Mario 64. Yeah. No major. No major skips or like glitches. Yeah. No That's major cool. glitches. Although in this the. The uh, the moat skip that's done in New Route um, is is technically it's a major skip, but it doesn't require any major glitches. It's just you know technical stuff like just doing some wall jumps. It's almost as if the, the game designers said, "Have fun. We're just we're gonna we're gonna just leave this here and uh, hope you enjoy yourselves." I I actually think that's kind of cool. Um, I feel like OOT glitchless or Ocarina of Time uh, for people who don't know the abbreviation has like a few things like that. Where it, you're literally just like abusing intended mechanics to get over there, right? But so you're not like cool. you're not Ron warping or anything. You're not doing anything no. that totally breaks the sequence of the game. No, it's like you can skip like half of Deku Tree, uh, just you know doing like a precise jump. Just cool okay, like yeah. That. Like precise jumps and like damage boosts and stuff are like run rampant in that category. Yeah, so that's what this kind of, like every like little room has some kind of mechanical exploit like doing a damage boost off an enemy 
all that yeah. is 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 holding A and B and pressing the opposite direction of wherever you want to fly. That's it. Yeah, it's it just like a really cool mechanic. It is, and a lot of people don't realize how important it is in in uh, in uh, Super Metroid speedrunning because like like Freya just missed a damage boost there that that they could have done on that uh, that Ripper there, and they could have flew mm -hmm. all the way to the left and like skipped half of that room. It's very difficult though. So that that bomb there underwater is that a one way bomb or does it work both both directions? Uh, what that, what are you talking thing. about on on uh, the, on uh, cutie screen? No, no, Freya. Uh, I guess like you can't you can't get up up through the water up to that ledge. You have to like go from the top because like otherwise you would just like bomb the the bottom of that pillar, go to the other side, and then like climb up out of the water. You know, like, the the glass the thing that, sh that that they just broke. Is that glass? Oh no 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 no! You're thinking okay. Uh, we're we're on completely different wavelengths. Um, I, I kind of figured it out anyway. Uh, you can't make it up from oh, over there yeah. for anyone who is following my uh, from, <laughs> who is following my train of thought. We can just like yeah, <laughs> we can change subject. I'm trying to learn here, and now we have a real cutie. Uh, you know, fighting the eel boss, uh, a real cutie, in fact. And the the eel boss, uh, otherwise known as Bot Wound. Yep. Yeah, I'm I'm very knowledgeable. I, I definitely do not have, you know, metroid.retropixel.net pulled up with all the bosses listed. <laughs> that you don't need that anymore. You got me here. Okay, yeah, I got you here. Bot Batwoon is the boss that uh Cutie just fought. And Freya just destroying that glass. That's what I thought you were talking about. You yeah, have to yeah, be on yeah. The, in order to destroy that, you have to be on the inside and lay a power bomb. But as far as I know, I don't think you can get to it that room without going through that way if i'm not mistaken wasn't, wasn't there um at, at least i've seen some people do they like lay the power bomb and they like dash through it as it explodes just so you don't have to like you can you can cross the room like while the cutscene starts to happen mm -hmm. it just saves like it saves too. frames basically yeah that's cool it's just a it's very small time save but the reason you would in new route ahead of time is because that way when you get back to that room you can use the speed that you got from the previous room and just fly up right to the top doing like a huge speed booster type jump like the more speed so, you have the higher you jump one thing i was really uh, wondering about is this dragon fight i don't really understand uh you know what's going on here Okay, so there's several ways to do damage to Dragon. Uh, what Cutie did was using a, uh, an X Factor, which is a charge beam wave beam combo using a power bomb, and then you can also do Shine Sparks uh, through Dragon. And Real Cutie is on doing incredible things. I have to shout out that sh that uh, Real Cutie also got the the full halfy uh, in the previous room. But what that was like a perfect Dragon fight for Cutie. Uh, what, what happened there was doing Sparks does damage. Uh, if you spark through Dragon's like neck, sort of, and then if you do, if you kill with a spark, you can get a blue suit, which basically allows you to have like a spark maintain. And not only that, but Cutie went a whole step ahead and and got rid of the the blue suit and went for a double frame perfect trick off of that wall that gave Cutie a, a spark suit or spike suit. It's called. Unfortunately, Cutie was not able to utilize the uh, spike suit to get out of this room with a reverse full halfy. So Cutie did the hard part, but failed like the the easier part of using the the uh, spark to get out of that room. But still, that was a double frame perfect trick. But uh, Cutie so did get the swag. full halfy. Oh yeah, that is that's swag. That's what Behemoth does and goes for in his uh, in his world record attempts. It's like it's like one of those things that's like Pog Champs throughout the chat when when you can get spike suit. It's How like much time the, would you say that saves? Uh, it saves whatever, t well, because with blue suit, you can't run, so you have to kind of like go really slowly, you have to bomb jump your way out, but with spike suit, you can go full speed, so I'd say it saves like, mm, over the blue suit, I'd say it saves like maybe like eight seconds, I'd say. Dang, it's, it's a, a big, lot. it's a lot for this Just category. run so short, yeah, exactly. That's, um, that's but if you, if you optimize blue suit, you, you know, blue suit's fine. I mean, get, just getting blue suit in general is it allows you to spark through that one that room and uh that's the huge time save that probably saves like 10 seconds 15 over not doing the the suit freya looks like oh nope freya dodging the the greedy fish there it seems like a pretty difficult fight 
Dragon, honestly, I feel like would be the hardest fight, especially considering that it's so late in the run. I mean, in this route, it's not the last fight, but in, in new route, you can lose so much time to, to Dragon by, you know, failing blue suit, not getting spike suit if you go for spike suit. Freya is not going to go for spike suit, though. Blue suits, you know, just getting blue suits hard because you have to kill Dragon with with a, with a spark. And in that room, you actually can't spark like you would normally be able to spark in order to get a char like a speed booster charge you actually have to do some stutter taps which are frame perfect in order to uh even be able to get the potential to spark in the first place which a lot of people don't realize that but that, that room's so narrow that in casual play you're not even allowed to even get a, a shine spark Ooh, freya almost had the uh reverse pull happy but was one pixel too too low there yeah this game seems not uh very precise there, the tech, the technicalities of this game, it honestly blows my mind, especially being at 60 FPS, how everything seems to be a frame-perfect trick. It'd be like if Mario 64, everything was pillarless, pretty much. Yeah, that seems pretty crazy. Yeah, it'd be like having like to do pillarless for every star, where you have to have rely on a frame-perfect input. Well, technically, pillarless isn't frame-perfect, but, you know... No. Well, yeah. Medi medium bomb. Only a few people can do that that I know. Medium bomb's hard. It just seems... I, that would completely change the game if you had to, you know, like, do a, a hard trick for every star. I feel like the, the whole, like... I, I think that the optimization of the game would probably be affected, too. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, there's uh, a reason that there's only three people that have ever gotten a 41 in, in any percent. It's because the amount of grinding that you have to do. I'm, no, I'm not saying that in Mario it's it's hardy. There's so many optimizations in Mario as well. But Super Metroid's, you know, one of those games that if you pick up and try to do these tricks, it'll take you a long time to even be able to get yeah. through these rooms. Yeah, yeah. It's like um, like Mario 64 is definitely an easy game to pick up. You know, like hard to master. But then some games are just like hard to pick up, just in general. Not that they're easier to master or anything. It's Look just like... easy, but that... yeah, this game. Seems... I completely, yeah, definitely. But like what Cutie just did in that, that previous room uh, after exiting Ice Beam was was, was a mock ball through the door, um, and if the, if the speed booster wasn't in play, uh, Cutie wouldn't have been able to. Uh, they would have had to set it up using the the enemies and like do the mock ball with like a running start and you would have to rely on freezing the enemies in specific spots but there's a that's a that's a more of a new route strat definitely fun to watch though so this is the um this is like i feel like this part seems crucial uh in some routes where you have to kind of like spark up or something out of the yeah there's basically cutie has a space jump so that's like the casual way. You just kind of, you know, do a bunch of jumps to get up there. It's, there's no, it's not really that hard, but um, that damage boost optimization was really nice, though, through the door. And new route, there's two ways you can, as far as I know, there's two, you know, reasonable ways that you can get up there. There's the there's a spark. Uh, it's called Lava Spark that's extremely hard because uh, you have to do a stutter three tap, which is the hardest short charge through the door, which is what Real Cutie is about to do here. Very nice. And there's also a gravity jump, which is sort of the backup, but it's very dangerous because you lose a lot more health. Um, the gravity jump is actually really cool because it, ex it exploits the pause, um, where you, if you pause, the game actually continues to run for a number of frames. So you can actually pause the game, do do some action like a jump, and then change your like makeup, which is exactly what a gravity jump does. It allows you to like jump like so high. It's like a moon jump. Dang, that's nuts. Yeah, and what's seems nice like about having game... mm -hmm. sorry, go ahead. Uh, yeah, it just seems like this game has like a lot of cool like movement tricks that you can do. Yeah, and it's not just one strat. There's always like you know several ways to do a room like the climb you guys see in the beginning there's there's two main ways to do the climb there's right side and there's behemoth climb which is using ledge grabs and stuff but it's not that one saves time over the other but it's sort of runner preference and you can identify a runner based on what strats they do especially if you watch a lot of the random Oh yeah, that the there's so much personality. It's like it's like watching uh, a 
a TV show and not even and you and you don't even need to ha you know know what you, you all you have to do is like listen to the audio and you know who the actor is because you know the way they act. It's the same thing with Super Metroid Speedrunning. You can watch the strats and you know who it is. If you watch the entire run, you'd say, "All right, that person did Behemoth Climb. They did a gravity jump intentionally. They did like a boost to get in there. Like all these little things, you know, that you can you can tell that it's you know a specific specific runner." Yeah, I, f I find that that's actually usually the case with most games. Um, at least uh, any game with, like, you know, many layers to its gameplay. Can, oh, yeah. You know, identify a runner by just by the run itself. You don't even need the name. That's true. It's like watching 16 Star, and, you, and you know, if someone's going for double jump Owlis and, uh, like, speed kick optimizations, you know it's probably Ouija. Depending, yeah, it, it either has to be Ouija, like Zaya, <laughs> Drozdowski, you know, it, it has to be like yeah. in that realm. And then you can just figure it out, you know, Zaya has like the crazy colors, so. Yeah, and some people have like homemade movement too in uh, certain rooms that you won't see anywhere else, which is pretty much the same as, you know, most games. As any game, practically, I think. Yeah. yeah. But um, both runners got the fast pillars there. It's a you have to do a stutter three tap and a, and a uh, very precise uh spark through all those pillars it's it saves so much time because otherwise you have to use power bombs and and it's it's just you know one of those things that's like if you get it you feel so good because you know that's so much time that you saved over potentially over your opponent although both runners did get it so so uh, you know what point of uh the run in this route do you think is the hardest part uh in this route it, it's hard to say um it really isn't that hard of a route because i mean even with the escape you have the plasma beam you can use iframes i was and i a new route i would say would be it'd be phantom because you only have that much energy and and i would say the what they're doing right now the escape uh or what at least what cutie's doing freya's on on their way in but in old route it's it's hard to say um if i had to put a, a number on it i would just say turian because turian's always hard to do fast especially that's the that's the like end of the game, right? Yeah, Turian's basically after you stand around at G four and waiting, you you enter and yeah. you basically do the rooms of the Metroids, and then you have like Baby Skip if you go for that, and then you know, and then you have to like be very careful with Mother Brain because if you take too much damage, you know the run just dies. Um, but the reason I say that that's the hardest in New Route is because there's really no extremely hard part in particular in New Route. It's because you have more health, you know, Kraid's Lair is really, it's, it's not a problem, you know. Maybe doing the Kraid Quick Kill it takes a while to learn, but most runners, you know, they'll nail it like it's nothing. But New Route, I mean, honestly, though, like, learn, it takes a long time to learn this game without dying, you know, over and over again. Especially in New Route, we see people die left and right in this tournament so far. Sponsored mm -hmm. by Vi.gg. Oh yeah, yeah. Plug, plug that guy. Uh, so, by that GG, <laughs> you know, sponsoring this tournament and Super Mario Odyssey 80% and Super Mario 64 70 star. Uh, they're linked in the bio, and you can type exclamation uh, bet in chat, and you can uh, you know bet on some of these live races if you want. Would you like to know something cool about Ridley? Uh, he's in Smash. I don't know. Give me something else. I that is pretty it. cool. Um, but he's the only boss in this game that acts or enemy that has a, a artificial intelligence built in, so you can manipulate Ridley's movements. When Ridley pogos, um, he can either pogo to the left or to the right. You want him to pogo to the left so you can actually stand on the edge and not take damage and just kind of like shoot him over and over again. But if if he's oh, so going every to the other boss is straight scripted. Straight script. Yep. Uh, it's but Ridley's manipulate. You can manipulate Ridley, which is really cool. Um, by, by, by doing a spin jump when he's pogoing to the right, um, for example, you can actually make him turn to the left and you can just, he won't be able to hurt you for as long as he pogoes. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they really went all out with Ridley, which makes sense because Ridley was the one that, you know, stole the baby Metroid. Ridley's kind of, you know, the, the, the recurring, you know, yeah, he's antagonist. Like the, the, po the poster, uh, the poster villain. <laughs> the poster child. Super Metroid, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, very nice execution from Freya there. In order to clip through a ceiling, you actually have to spin jump into it. I, I'm, I don't know the actual mechanics, but you have to like spin jump and then like hold the direction and then jump through. 
and then got the damage boost to go on top of that. Like there's like probably 20 inputs that go into that one set of uh, movements that, that Freya just did. But uh, yeah, Freya making the escape and a cutie getting to G4. It's basically a waiting game. You wait for all those bosses that you killed. They kind of, their spirits disappear from the statues and you get what entrance to Turian, which is the final area of the game. Yeah, you go to the, the final lair of the final boss after killing all of her kids. <laughs> I mean, she's, she's like a mother, right? So she's got to be a mother of something. Um, I... Well, she's the leader of the space pirates, which are the enemies you see like left and right. Um, like the key hunters, I think, are related to the space pirates. So, like, the space what, pirates is killing right now. These are space pirates. I believe. Well, they're they're technically called key hunters. I think they're related though to the space pirates. Ridley's a space pirate, so technically, uh, Ridley's mother is Mother Brain, because Mother Brain's the head of the space pirates, which are the ones that you know they like to steal the Metroids and use their power to basically destroy civilization because the Metroids are powerful. But the Metroids aren't bad, though. Uh, the X Parasites are the ones that are evil, um, but you'll see them in Fusion, which yeah, doesn't I happen, play, by I the way. Fusion. Oh, you have played Fusion? Yeah, the yeah. X Parasites are the ones that are evil, and the Metroids are actually, you know, they're the good guys. They're the good or guys. Neutral. That, that, yeah, they're the predator, the only known predator of the X Parasite. Um, but the only reason the Metroids are bad in these games is because they've been kidnapped by Mother Brain, and, and they're trying to, they're basically being experimented on. Damn, that, that, that's pretty. That's that's pretty dark. Yeah, Metroid, uh, a dark, a dark series. You know, it's, it's, it's very chill though. You know, the music's very. I mean, it might be dark, but it, you know, it appeals to the soul. It's very fun to watch a, a Super Metroid run. It's you can definitely fall asleep to. One of my old roommates used to say, um, "You can play Super Metroid at night, but you can't play Mario because I can't fall asleep to." Yeah, 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 Yahoo! <laughs> uh, I, I can definitely. Uh not relate to that i've fallen asleep to mario many times but, but uh, uh if you can fall asleep to mario i mean you can easily you know fall asleep to super metroid it's a very flowy game even though it's so technical when you watch it it's just like it's like one chill. thing follows another so smoothly yeah, yeah. It's, it's got a nice flow yeah, and the atmosphere it's just a, a well-made game it really is so a real cutie trying to do this uh baby metroid skip here Gotta be careful, you can soft lock, but it looks like it's good. Yeah, that's Gucci Gang. Do you think, uh, okay, like no save, I, I suppose? Uh, the save room is is in the next room. Uh, it's it's okay. gonna be, so, it's the room before the Zebatite skip. No save! Feeling All right. it. Feeling yeah, it. real cutie. Cutie with some cute gameplay. Flexing, flexing. Okay, okay. And in in the acid, taking some acid damage. Doesn't want to take too much though. Yeah, without saving, like if 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 Cutie loses a energy tank and a half more, uh energy will be too low and I don't know when Cutie save last, but uh Freya's gonna be in good shape to win this if Cutie takes too much damage here. Monk S for this entire Mother Brain 2 here. Gotta land. I mean, yeah. it's not as long because you have the plasma beam. I think it's only like 20 shots, but still. Wow. Yeah, I was Cutie noticing 40. like uh, Cutie was absolutely destroying those uh, key hunters earlier, where I think I saw Oats was racing and had to do some, some other stuff to kill them. Yeah, new route, you don't get plasma. Um, it would basically make the, the new routing, like it wouldn't save that much time at all. Ooh, look out for that spaghetti. Yeah, that's a, that's a hit from from the from the tater tot, I think. Yeah, the hit was from the tater. That uh, invincibility frames allowed Cutie to dodge the uh, the catch up. Otherwise, would have been a death there. Um, but what we're oh, saying, so uh, the plasma bad. beam is plasma. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Like that was like a blink. The whole point about plasma beam is that. You're done in the blink of an eye um, because the plasma beam is so overpowered. It's so much more powerful than any other beam. And if you ever play a rando and you get the plasma beam early on, like you can kill everything in like two seconds. Like, but without the plasma beam, like everything takes ten years to kill. So now, uh, you know, a real cutie will be donning the uh, 
Kappa Pride laser into Samus' arsenal and will destroy Mother Brain 3. Yeah, it's the best revenge in the history of video games. Uh, Samus really mad that Mother Brain snipes the baby Metroid here. Um, it's very sad, but what's nice is that um, Freya's about to die here. Uh, nope. Nice escape there at the last second. Freya was getting sucked by the Metroid. Whew, sorry, I had to segue into that. But uh, Cutie, yeah, Cutie's gonna get the Hyper Beam and basically wreck Mother Brain. Her head's gonna be bopping. I'm gonna see her head go back and forth. Uh, she can't take it. So it was like Samus not really doing any real damage and then kind of like the Metroid comes in after Samus was about to, you know, get wrecked. I guess is the, that's basically like what's going on in the story. Like you were shooting M Mother Brain, but it wasn't really doing much. It wasn't doing nearly as much to, to do enough damage. Uh, Mother Brain's very much more powerful than in the first game. In the first game, Mother Brain doesn't even get to go to the second phase because there is only one phase. Um, and Mother Brain, you know, gets out of there, dies, whatever you want to believe, but uh, definitely doesn't die forever because, you know, here she is in Super Metroid, which is the Dying. second sequel. Yeah, but this is the real death of Mother Brain here. Uh, the Hyper Beam, the Baby Metroid, uh, the power of the Baby Metroid was enough to kill Mother Brain, but Samus alone was not enough to kill Mother Brain in this game, which is really cool. It adds a whole whole storyline with the Baby Metroid, which um, it basically allows people to realize that Metroid 2, you know, is a game. Many people did not play it, but that's where the Baby Metroid comes from, and that's how I learned about it. I didn't know there was a Metroid 2 until I played this game, believe it or not. So... What would the what would the game be like if you had the Kappa Pride gun at the beginning? Well, you wouldn't have any need for any beam upgrades, which would actually be very boring because you'd have the same beam for the entire game. Um, Metroid games usually have like you know upgrades to the beams, and each beam has like a special property. Like the wave beam can go through walls, plasma beam can go through enemies, um, the ice beam can freeze things. You know, it's not just you know each beam is an upgrade to your power. Each beam gives a special ability to your to your to your weapon, uh, to your arm cannon. Uh, so Brian, having just the went down to one HP, by the way, I just want to interrupt you just for a second. I'm sorry. Oh, again? Oh, Freya got really close uh, a couple times there with those Metroids, but getting the Zebatite skip, it's it's Monka asked, but it's okay. Uh, commentators almost missed that. Thankfully, the legendary Pity is commentating, so nothing you know goes unnoticed. We see everything here. Uh, yeah, real cutie, yeah, real 40 cutie. foot. Yeah. 45-44 is an excellent old route time. World record for that route is like a high 42 or a low 43. I'm pretty sure it's a 43 by Jack, but it wow, might have gotten crazy. beat. The new route saves a lot then. New route saves um, uh, two minutes if it's done, you know, full that's execution. You do, all the, you, do all, you do all the fast strats, like, you know, lava boost, you know, quick moat skip. Early alleys. <laughs> early alleys, yeah. Yeah, yeah, lava boost early alleys. Lava boost early alleys. Um, what was I saying about the plasma beam? Or oh yeah, if you just had the hyper beam for the whole game, it you know there would be no like, you know you get a new beam, you get not only do you get a strength up, you know a strength upgrade, but you get like some special property. Um, but so but basically you know everything would die instantly, and there would be no challenge to the Super Metroid if you had the hyper beam right off the bat. But a real cutie only uh, finishing about a minute and a half behind PB. That's that's pretty solid for a race. That is an excellent time. That's actually the best time I think I've seen so far. I think Zost got a good. I coast. Yeah, Zost got like a 44. I think maybe it was a 40. Yeah, I think it was a 44 with new route. Maybe it was a little better, or worse. But um, I think that's the best old route time I've seen this tournament. I think I've commentated quite a few matches too. So. That is a very solid yeah. run from Cutie. Yeah, people look out for Cutie. Um, out for blood in the bracket. Dark horse of the tournament, perhaps. Yeah, this is how it starts. You know, you, you lose a match, you go to losers, um, and then you, you pull off a time like a 45, uh, which that would, for old route, I, that would be like having like a sub 50 and 70 star, I would say. Um, that is it's that is not a wow. a joke time. That is that is a beautiful time by Cutie. And, and, this is the eye opener. This is where we, you know, we may see Cutie start to plow through the losers bracket. You know, you get the Rocky theme going on. You, you know, I have the tiger ready to to rock through the losers and make make it all the way. 
the alternative winners bracket. Yep, that's what this is. There are no losers here on GSA. Just wanted to point it out. And that's true. Uh, Freya also very close to PB in this this run. This was, um, I believe, only uh, less than a minute off PB this entire race. Um, had some really good splits too. Maybe a gold. I'm not sure. I'm I'm getting this information as I'm we getting, speak. I'm getting info that there was a G4 gold from Freya. G4. That's what it was. Yeah. Um, so Freya with an excellent run too. Uh, just, just gonna just. This is probably sub 50. Mother brain decides to die here, which is going to happen. There's no decision behind it. This could be sub 50. Uh, it's going to be close. It might be a little crazy 50, if but... Mother brain was the one who decided to die, and you had to convince her. Like, yeah, Ridley's dead. All my kid children are dead. Just, just end my life already. I could just imagine you get bad RNG, like Mother brain, just not willing to die. Or that too, yeah. Imagine just getting. There is a way to soft lock. I think that mother. Yeah, the game can crash if you try to do a glitch, but it's, it's actually a uh, banned. It's like a, it's like a beam glitch that you can like kill Mother Brain really quickly, but it's. I believe it's banned in N8% because it's a, that's a major glitch. I think. So Samus looking pretty hot on Cutie's side. Um, there goes her hair. Samus is a girl. Craig has one. <laughs> I know. It's. It is a beautiful. Uh, it's, I know a lot of people know by now, but like imagine, you know, being in the 1980s and and like the only other female heroine that you, you see in like in like games or movies like this was the Alien franchise, which is basically what the Me Metroid series is based off of. But like if you're a kid, you know, you're like, you know, this is where you learn, you know, that women are heroes, too. I first saw Samus in Smash 64 and I didn't know for a while that Samus was a girl, actually. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we have someone in the chat. It's a real cutie. It's a real uh, cutie. Yeah. Welcome, welcome hey, in. Yeah. On your, on your race time, that was super solid. Yeah. Uh, the beginning was a little uh, suspect, but after that, it kind of smoothed out a little bit. Uh, getting the safeties definitely hurts your time a bit, but uh, I'm I got baby skip, so I can't complain. Yeah, that was pretty pretty clutch at the end. Uh, I think 45, very useful pretty... time. Uh, you looking to tear through this bracket? Uh, I think I can, yeah, if I play better than this. Well, ever since I got Watch into the, the end, commentary uh, booth about halfway through, it was pretty, pretty nothing, you know, nothing time. but solid uh, execution you throughout looking to the tear entire, through this bracket? entire run. Um, I didn't see the intro, but if you play like you did since I've been watching, uh, you are definitely got a good chance of, of going all the way. I think so too. I think it'll be uh, interesting to watch how I stack up with a little bit of a more consistent route against the PRKD players. That's just a little less consistent. But um, I know Sloters, who I face next, is going to be running my route, and that should be a good race because we're both really good at this route. So I'm looking. Yeah, to probably going to be within. It's probably going to be one of the tightest races. Might have a photo finish. Mm -hmm. Might have some sync on Baby Metroid, like we saw in that rando tourney uh, last year. I believe it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I've been told we have Freya in the call as well uh almost nailing a sub 50 there excellent escape excellent run how are you feeling freya we got we golded we golded our last two splits and ran the second best time we have ever run we are feeling amazing uh that's lit that is so uh, lit i mm -hmm. i'm very very uh impressed that both especially run in a race today. setting right that's that's, oh, yeah, so cool. that's hard in a race yeah i know that's it's there's not more there's nothing more you can uh, hope for. So you golded both your last splits? Yes. That's amazing. That's um, yeah. How are you feeling about your run as a whole? Uh, the whole run feels amazing. Um, there, like The only part that really went badly was Fantoon. But other than that, everything went wonderfully. Yeah, the Fantoon was like a, a little manka, but luckily toughed it out. We're super, super, super happy with this. And any run where we get any gold is amazing. And we think we can get. The, yeah. We think that if we grind it out for a while, for a few weeks, we can get a forty-eight, which feels yeah, wonderful. PB soon. PB soon. Keep playing, keep playing like that. Rooting for you. Um, go, a gold, a golden moment here for you. Uh, got a couple golds. Um, a golden sponsor in Vi.gg. A golden opportunity to bet on the racers. Just wanted to throw that in there because we are running low on time. Yep. Uh, it's been a pleasure doing Super Metroid commentary. Uh, you know, the chat is always very welcoming. I, 
I try, but you know, I'm, I'm glad that I had Adam's support halfway through the race. You are definitely like in there. You have, you know, the encyclopedia deposited in part of your brain and you were throwing out the sauce. So I'm glad to have learned something here. And, yeah, uh, and I'm I'm honored to have commentated with you too. You know, Petty, you're you're kind of a legend. Um, not gonna lie, oh, it's, you know, kind of looking looking like I want to, you know, try to step out of the shadow. But at the same time, you know, being in your shadow is is a good shadow to be in. So we were yeah, in each um, other's shadow, I, I guess. Uh, because I was like, wow, this yeah, guy is like this guy's a legend. I need to let him you know, take the stage. <laughs> Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And I appreciate uh, Cheese letting me, you know, get in halfway through. I did have a conflict before, but I did get out early. And uh, we're going to be cutting the intermission. So GG's to both runners. They are the real heroes here, both having excellent races. So definitely follow the runners. Shout outs again to Vi.GG. And thank you again, Pity. Yep. Thanks, everybody. And we will be back after a short intermission. Uh, we have Punk A versus Shans, SM64 Triple Bingo, and Saxel versus Yale. Triple bingo uh, as well. Myself and simply on comm, so be ready for some double fire. That is so Craigasm. <laughs>